Look, 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 look the trample damage. Oh, holy moly. Then I got to play Mordor in an another Isengard mirror. Hold on, it's evil? Yeah, it's evil. So, hold on. My plan is simple. Kinda simple. I wanna actually pressure him a little bit with the Golem. You play Lord of the Rings online? Never did. Never did. To be honest, I also wanted to play... Um, there is a... What is it called again? Rise to War? No. Rise of Mordor or something like that? Isengard Mordor matchup, okay? Oh, I messed up my opening so badly, dude. I messed up my opening so badly. I cannot even tell you. I didn't recruit any orcs. I legit might have lost the game. In this situation, when you play this matchup, it's very important to have like a perfect opening. Like when you make one single mistake, you are kind of messed up. I need to build at least one slaughterhouse before he destroys my mill. And he will destroy my mill. I cannot even stop him from doing this. But it's okay. We will kill his workers. We might maybe grab this one for ourselves. It's gonna be pretty nice. I mean, he's using war chant, but it's, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's okay. Like, he will lose the lumber mill right after. If, if I'm lucky, I'm gonna build one more slaughterhouse with a discount. That's very important. For 350 instead of 350, this additional resources you save can be so good, nice. We build two slaughterhouses, so it's not the end of the world, despite the bad start. I'm gonna use Eye of Sauron here to kill it a bit faster. I think he has no um, Uruk Pit yet, and both his mills are not producing any money for him. This one has no workers, and the other one just will get destroyed in a bit. And we will get more orcs and eventually reclaim this too. Nice, almost level 2, that's dope. Level 2, massive power spike for the orcs, by the way. They unlock the black, black orcs. They will gain passively 25% more damage, which makes them pretty strong, especially early game. Okay, now we can send them here. Oh, he bought this, really? That's a mistake from him, in my opinion. I'm gonna build the second orc pit now. Okay, we can destroy this. I'm gonna move my eye to this location. Yeah, but, but you know, I hope you can understand me that I'm kind of a little bit bored of having the same... The problem is, I like Lord of the Rings music a lot. I really do. But the good music from Lord of the Rings is literally copyrighted. So, you pretty much hear and listen to the same music in the rotation every single time, which can be quite boring, in my opinion, at least for me, because I'm listening to it uh, almost every single day, you know? Okay, now we can move forward. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually creep. I wanna creep this one, but I need one more orc for that. Let's make more workers. Like you wanna have additional, like you wanna have around about eight workers for each mill. That's like the magical number, pretty much. Okay, we got this. That's good. What are my workers doing there? What the heck? We have four mills, boys. Oh, yes, he went for the work riders. Oh, that's interesting. To be honest, not even a bad choice, in my opinion. But I will just rush Nazgul at this point. So, I will show you guys how to creep very fast in this game. We're gonna creep two of them at the same time. I mean, if the War Rider is not gonna come, we should be able to do that. Come here, follow me, follow me. So, can okay, creep this. And creep this. And creeping is very important because what we do with it is we deny him power points. And we get lots of power points, which is a huge power spike for Mordor, because the second we get industry unlocked, we will grow so incredibly fast, incredibly rich. Vork Riders! Nice. Gollum. I want to send actually Gollum in. I want to see what Gollum is doing, uh, what Isengard is doing. 
Maybe we can get this done, but I, I have my doubts. I want to actually just get the money. Our game breaking point will be definitely um, a Nazgul. Once we get a Nazgul on the field, we will be so good, so strong. Okay, he has a full base. This spot is going to be safe for Armory. Guys, I will show you a trick with Gollum. There is a chance he might build the Armory. We're going to guard this area. And if he builds the Armory... At 0%, Gollum can one-shot it, and he will lose the full money from it. I want to keep an eye on that one, to be honest. I mean, obviously, we are losing map control. It's, as expected, we cannot really fight against the... Against the Walk Riders with the Orcs. That's not possible. We are just trying to buy some time. I want to. I don't. I don't want to miss that. Actually, uh, I don't think we can creep this. Three orcs is all it takes to creep. We have very soon. Oh, oh, oh! Can we get the money? We got the last hit for now, and we got both both the money. Luck or skill. You tell me, boys. You tell me. And we have a Nazgul on the way. Dude. That's that's what happens if you play like me all the time evil. When you get to play evil all the time, every time you pick random, then you are mastering the evil factions, you know? Keep spamming units all the time. Okay, we have two power points. It's good. Industry, time... Um, with the Nazgul, we can also capture the outpost and then make even more orc pits. But first of all, let's kill a couple of these war riders. I don't know if you built anything here, by the way. I cannot, I cannot tell you. Look, look, look! Boom! 1200! Yes! I knew it! Gollum MVP, boys! He lost the full money there, by the way. Holy quacamole, you love to see that. I think he lost it twice. I, I really think he lost it twice. Because he was building a tower there, too. That's kind of crazy, man. Why don't you pick just a faction? Yeah, it's like a common thing, you know? It's like a... Uh, tradition to pick random in this game, but you are right. Maybe I just gonna pick like factions from now on. That was huge, man. Thank you so much for the follow, Gustavo. Appreciate it. I will just quit the game and uninstall it at the moment. <laughs> and my golem is still alive, by the way. He's like the goat. Double orc pit. The age of Uruks is over. The time of the orc has come. Oh, look, War Riders. Hello there. I'm Obi Wan now. Hello there. Oops. Oops. Black Styles for the first time subbing with the primaries. Thank you so much, Black Styles. Appreciate the support. Really means a lot. Thank you, thank you. Good sir. Black Styles just subscribed. Welcome to Beyond Standard. Oh, look, this Lords. Look, look. Uh, the, you thief. You thief. Oh, I wanted to get this, man. Lourdes. Look, this Lourdes is walk. He just crippled my war. <laughs> you have my soul. I think he wanted... He right-clicked on the cripple. He wanted to cripple my Nazgul. But then my worker was close and he crippled my worker. <laughs> my worker is like the MVP, you know, tanking and taking the cripple just like a boss. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Black Styles, for watching them. Also appreciate it. And uh, Taufik, thanks for the follow. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for tuning in, for watching, for following. Really means a lot. I know I've been not streaming quite a lot lately. Um, because of summertime. I mean, the game is kind of really less active. In the summertime. So it's hard for me to get games. Um, but once the summertime is over, around September or October, we will definitely get more games on stream and on YouTube videos. And ho hopefully also, you know, being able to host bigger tournaments for BFME 2, Rise of the Witch King and all that kind of stuff. It just doesn't feel right, in my opinion, right now. To host tournaments for like eight people 
because not many people are around as they are taking eventually vacations they have like a summer break time and stuff like that oh my goodness my orcs i'm saving for the witch king by the way if you are curious what i'm doing with my money let's get this i mean we kill all his war riders it's pretty good one piece fan yes sir one piece fan big fan Lord crippling your economy by directly attacking the warp floor. <laughs> True. Everything is planned, you know? Not accident. Intentionally. I mean, the problem later on will be... And that's the, that's the point when Isengard can shut down uh, Mordor with the leadership uh, nullifying effect from the Freezing Rain, you know? Freezing Rain can mess up, mess up us so much. Come on. There. Oh, here's... Okay, I, I, oh, let's kill this worker, work guys. They have even upgrades. I'm cash floating, man. I have like 8,000. Guys, what do you want to see? You want to see Mumakis against Isengard? Or you want to see Troll Army? You want to see Catapults? You want to see... What do you want to see? Yeah. One Piece. Movie Red. I'm also looking forward for this one. The war card is also tanky though. I'm tanky, taking so much damage now. If like almost full population with orcs. Should be able to get this. No problemo. My witch king is gonna be there very soon. I can protect the outpost with my witch king. Before anything else, I wanna go actually for the third Nazgul too. All units to rule them all. You want to you see catapults? Okay, guys, I got you. So we're going to make triple siege at the outpost. Once we once we capture this outpost, we're going to build three siege works. <laughs> and just farm catapults, you know? I wish we had Grunt. Imagine we have, like, Grunt for, like, a ridiculous amount of money. Imagine you can, for, from a siege works level 3, you can recruit Grunt for, like, 10,000 resources, you know? Oh, I see archers. But do you have fear resistant on your lords? I don't think you do. Oh, he crippled. He crippled. Crippled chunks, actually. Hold on. I wanna I wanna surround him. Screech now one time. We have like three screech too. Like he needs fear resistant. He needs either Saruman or he needs Lords level 5. Three fear effects we have. And level 2 is not enough anymore in this game, right? We made sure that we need to be at least level 3. Where is Lords? Lords, I will kill you. Low my... Look at this. Guys, do we do we meme? Uh, we, we cannot even go for this, right? We, we, uh, I wanted to go for the Call of the Heart, but it's not even possible. Three Nazgul's to kill Lords. Lords! To, yeah. Poor Lords, what can you do? When will you add it to the game? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, Grunt could could be actually kind of uh, nasty, you know what I'm saying? Like, it depends on the on the purpose you want to add it. Like, you want to make it, you want to make it, like, almost as strong as Emina did it, because Emina did it mission, the Grunt is literally indestructible. He's too strong, and he just literally one-shots the gate, you know? And if you don't know, like, units like Grunt, or even the Siege Tower from the Mortar Faction, can actually... Um, one shot units they walk through so they are acting like a mumma kill they have like a trample damage even a siege tower can one shot soldiers archers everything they touch and when you make grunt like that pretty much like a indestructible siege tower from the mortar faction you can not only uh, use it for killing campers but also for killing armies as promised boys three siege works And we have also darkness now, that's good. Yeah, I mean, you want to make it really expensive, like for 10,000 maybe, maybe even like 15,000. But on the other side, it's very, very easy late game to get this money for Mordor, you know, look our money now. We have like three Nazguls, we went for three Siege Works, and we have like still almost 7,000 in the bank, you know. 
Like Mordor is so rich later on with industry, with all these mills, and it's very hard for any faction to contest the map control fights too with two, three Nazgûs. People don't under, under uh, don't understand how strong Nazgûs are in this game. Uh, Cypher, I thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Come on, let's get this. Hey guys, you know what time it is? We're gonna spam siege towers. <laughs> Just why not? You know? Just why not? Let's go for the siege towers, dude. Who needs catapults in 2022? I will show you guys the power of siege towers. Everybody's like, hey, Shanks, siege towers are so useless. And I will show you that you are wrong. They are not useless. When you use them properly, they are so tanky. Uh, but just for the plan B, what we're gonna do, let's demolish these two. Because we have so much money anyway, we go for dumb, double Mumma kill pen from this outpost and triple siege work from this outpost. Aim for the trolls, kill the trolls. Thank you, big boy. Appreciate it for eight months, my dude. Thank you, thank you, good sir. Bike boy glue just resubscribed for eight months. Ahoy. Aim for the trolls, kill the trolls. Okay. So I will surprise him. I don't want to send those three forward yet. I want to wait for the other one. So he will have like in total six siege towers running him down. He will be like, what is going on? We are not using the meta. We are trying to create a new meta, boys. That's the plan. I wish we could make them stronger. We nerfed those siege towers, by the way, um, because they were just too tanky. But I wish the leadership would also work on them, you know? And this guy's kind of trying to hurt my economy. Sir? <laughs> Is this not looking funny? We are kind of getting poor now. <laughs> this is going to be fun, dude. Hold on a second. This is going to be fun. I've never done this in a multiplayer game. The army of Mordor approaches. But it's Rohan. When we need it. We can add leadership. No, 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 no. But guys, how many times did you see those units being recruited in multiplayer games? I've never seen it, nor did I ever recruit them. <laughs> there they, here they come. Good luck killing them. They're so tanky. Look, they will tank those towers for ages. <laughs> He's like the XT. <laughs> Never stop recruiting orcs. Never. Look, they can tank these towers forever, dude. Hold on a second. Darkness. Look, he's war chanting. Oh, they're, uh, okay, they're against fire, actually. They're, holy, what? Trampling. Look, 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 look. Look, look. Look the trample damage. Let's use Screech to mess them up a little bit. He's using fire, I think, on this. But they are, they are so good when it comes to tank the damage. We are one-shooting those units, guys, as we are trampling them. They were working out quite nicely, but the only problem was that we didn't have enough of them. What is the shortcut for this? S. S for super unit. Waiting for the reinforcements. I mean, to be honest, I'm going to lose this game eventually because he's getting very, very strong. Yes, Saruman now lures level 3 very close to be level 5. Let's get this under our control. We need to make sure that he has no money. Like, we have money, but I don't know if the money is going to be enough, you know? Let's use industry the second it's available. Let's get this one. Like, Saruman is going to be quite dangerous. Because, you know what? He can steal our siege towers and make them fight for them. We are waiting for more, boys. My Nazgus are still remaining on the field. Um, need one more. One more, then I will have like 
in total six more monkeys. We have six power points. We need only thirteen more, uh, fourteen more for the Balrog. So I think he's not aware of the moment kills. He's kind of tunnel vision focus on the outpost top. He's coming, boys. My witch king is being bullied. Witch king, don't die. Look, look, this guy's annoying. You wanna kill my siege towers, this dude? Look, the war riders are actually killing it fast, man. But I'm trampling them, dude. Come on! Oh yeah, I got chunked from the from the thing. Okay, okay, abort mission, abort mission. No! Don't die! Not even close, baby. Calculated. I mean he's cheating. Okay now let's bring the big guns, boys. You you need to chill a little bit. You will have to recover. Which king can support them? Our darkness is still not available. He's war chanting them too. But you just war chanted now your war What are you gonna do against my movement kills? I'm wondering. We need to revive the Nazgul too. We forgot about that one. I'm ca I'm I'm command points kept. Uh, you can join yeah we can we can of course i mean the, i would like to play team games like 2v2 3v3 4v4 maybe even some free for alls but nobody was around that's why we decided to play 1v1s for now but if some of you guys want to join the party you are more than welcome of course sauron lost in minas Tirith because he didn't make enough siege towers facts oh my hold on we go we go in boys we go in boys My Mumu kids are charging. I'm just feeding at this point a lot of power points. Do you realize that, right? I'm just feeding at this point. My darkness is on cooldown too. Oh, holy moly! The Mumu kill killing everything! Saruman, you cannot just cast a spell like that, brother. You cannot. You, are, you realize that this is, these are movement kills. You don't want to be, you want to move, you want to run, you want to, you want to, you know, dribble them and stuff. You cannot just sit there and cast your spells and hope for the best. That's not going to work out for you, my friend. Crushed everything there, everything. But I also lost every single movement kill I had. But he lost the entire army. He has still some war tires, though. That's annoying. I'm, I need to fish some power points. I don't know if he has money to revive them. I cannot tell. And I didn't even have darkness back in the, you know, in the time. Can you imagine with darkness, boys? <laughs> Guys, if the music you listen to is too disturbing, I can also disable the music if you want. So we can have like no music. I just don't feel like I, I don't want to listen to this uh, copyright free battle for middle earth music non-stop you know if you say yeah the music is not i mean i know it's not fitting to the bfme vibe obviously he has too many water riders man but now you have no fear uh, you have no fear resistance he's level six water rider that's also something you don't see every day we need more siege towers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my witch king! Don't 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 don't! Are you so slow? What is my? Okay, I was paying attention to my witch king. My excuse, boys. My Nazgul is not gonna make it out alive, yeah. But luckily, we can revive him. And we have the other one back, and Witch King was able to survive. That's very important. Witch King is your most valuable hero, which you want to um, try to keep him alive. That's very important, guys. So we have another Mumma kill army. We are kind of cash loading. Uh, I mean, command points kept. Um, we can actually sell them to the slaughterhouse. Why feeding in power points if we don't need to do that? Just sell them, and then we get three power points.
Okay. S S S. Let's go, boys. Let's get this one too. We have five Mumuikis in total. We will have seven, hopefully very soon. The problem with the Mumuikis is they cost so many power command points too. They cost 50 command points. So with 500 command points, you can have only 10 of them. I mean, 10 is still a crazy amount, if you think about it. Guys, are we still live or did I lose connection? I have like a connection error problem. For me, it's saying connecting to chat. I don't know if you are still live or not. I hope you are still live. I mean, this guy doesn't really, really doesn't like my siege, forks, siege towers. Okay, let's go. I think it's enough waiting, so now it's time for action. We need to send them to the stop outpost because he will capture it now. I'm pretty certain he has, he has freezing rain to answer my darkness, but I'm gonna use darkness anyway now. So with darkness and witch king, maybe my mumakis are not gonna die in a second against these arrows from the buildings and also from the units. That's what I'm hoping for. I mean, that's literally the strongest you can get. Go, go, Muma kills. I mean, Muma kills damage against buildings like furnaces are not very, it's not very high, you know? I mean, we've, we can buff them with the Eye of Sauron, of course, and make them stronger, but still. At this point of the game, we just need to fish power points. It's very important for us. Something is wrong, boys. I cannot. I, I cannot read the chat. I don't know if you are typing something. If you do, I cannot see it because it's saying for me connecting to chat. I'm not even sure if we are still live or not, or if we lost the connection. Can't tell. test yeah, I can hear the test sound but I cannot I cannot read the chat can you guys read the chat I don't know I need to check after this game try to refresh it or something oh he just crippled my thing like this level 3 furnace are so tanky boys holy moly man Yes, everything is working. Thank you very much. Appreciate Still it. Then. Oh, Saruman just came in the last second. Uh, he got so many power points from this fight. Trust me, man. And we couldn't kill his lords too. Lords level 5, Saruman level 5. Yeah, the moment he kills armor against arrows is just... Like, I mean, it's okay because every single building, every single furnace, every single tower is shooting us non-stop. Where is my third Nazgul? Oh, I didn't revive him, really? Dude. I played this so bad, actually. <laughs> Sorry. And he's defending this very nicely, too. We just need to kill this one. He has war riders everywhere. Level 7. Need more Mumu kills. Can I kill this before my Witch King dies? That's the question. I hope I can. This crossbowmen are actually hitting very hard. It's not worth it, dude. That's really not worth it. They are, oh, they were level 5, that's why. But the revenge. The regular Nazgul commander just revenged his captain. Need a bit more power points, that's all I need. These war riders are so annoying, too. Just kill everything here. Okay, we have 20 power points in the bank. That's good. We have now the Balrog. Mm. 
Okay, I need to play it a little bit smart here now. I need to know what I'm doing in order to pull this off without um, messing it up, you know? Need to be patient. I, did, I, I don't think these units can rush me or finish me off anytime soon. So what I want to do is I want to keep recruiting Siege Towers because when there is one thing they're amazing against is normal arrows. Oh, fear effects don't work, of course. No, 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 no. Oh, the fireball is chunking me. Mm, let's buy this outpost. Let's destroy this and send them to rest. Oh, he has Balrog too. Mm, need to cancel my Witch King here and make him here worse. Oh my, am I gonna lose this game now? <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Okay, we go one for one. Am I reviving my Nazgul here? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make Orc Pits. Oh my goodness. What is the lesson we learned from this? Don't underestimate your opponent, I think. Go Siege Tower, you need to tank all the damage. The problem is, I don't even have a Witch King here. That's my biggest problem. And he just fully finished my castle. That was good. That, I mean, land, because he lost all the leadership bonuses. And we just killed them all, that's good. Okay, now we need Scavenger, because we need money more than anything else. Okay. Let's get this. Get here. Can he buy this one? That's the question. I hope not. Okay, we're gonna summon Balrog first of all. Come on. Don't take the Balrog damage, please. Now you go in. We wanna use Ignite while we are flying. Kill the Orphink. Take this. Take that. Red fire like this. Just place them in the middle. Just in the middle. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. Okay. Let's focus down the buildings, bro. Come on, do it so yourself. You don't need my help for it. He has used uh, Freezing Rain. We can buy this back, though. That's good. We lost a Nazgul. We can revive him. We need to revive him immediately, I mean. Okay, let's make towers just to make sure that he cannot buy this one. You know, that's the most important thing. Okay. My movement kills don't want to attack. This Lourdes is hurting me so much. You peel back, man. Let's make furnaces here. Just to make sure that it's tanky. Furnaces are tankier than slaughterhouses, you know? Attack, 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 attack. Charge him down. That's what I want you to do. Just charge. Finish off the beast. Because then we can buy it. You know, the beast, we can buy it. Okay, nice. So here's the outpost. That's the only thing he, it keeps him alive. That's our goal to destroy it. ASAP. Now we buy this. We have money. No problemo. We have full map control. That's pretty good. Again, full towers, very important. Oh, he chunked me. I'm gonna make orc pits here because I will have Call the Heart very soon. And I can just use Call the Heart and fill up for my, my old population with orcs. Let's get them all here to this location. This, this. This. Okay, orcs come. All we need to do is just commit. We can also just wait here a little bit. Bring more. Hold on. 
we're gonna bring all of them to this location and the same also here with these orc pits so we have in total seven orc pits and the second we use call the heart we should be in a very good spot i have a nazgul here my nazgul can protect us no problem okay i've called the heart that's amazing let's first of all queue up orcs so they can extend the command points limits this way you know you guys go to this location okay you guys are ready for this call the heart build me an army worthy of mordor by the way i still can't read the chat for whatever reason my obs is seeing connecting to chat i have like no information why what it why is happening why is this happening but you know as long as we are live we should be in a good spot Okay, you trample. You trample. Where is Lords? Lords, you trample Lords. Trample him. Nice. We got him, boys. This game actually was quite close because I never made trolls and stuff, you know. I was making siege towers, but Lords! Lords! Where do you want to go, Lords? Lords. Did we kill him? No, he's so fancy footwork, this dude. Kill him. Nice, we killed him. Okay. Nice. <laughs> GG well played, dude. I mean, it was a fun game, though. I mean, the Siege Towers, they were... <laughs> the Siege Towers were actually quite tanky, but against Fire Arrows, they cannot really do much. But it was kind of kind of funny game. If all the power points are locked too from the spell book, that's what we like to see. Let's use this. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. GG well played. 